Hi guys, I'm Alex and welcome back to Yak Rewind, where we take a look at the hottest trending URN news of the last two weeks. What on earth just happened? No, seriously, I look away for a second and bam, new Prime Minister. Well, Malcolm Turnbull has now been replaced by Scott Morrison, just like how Malcolm replaced Tony and Julia took over from Kevin and Kevin took over from Julia and it's all kind of confusing. So in case you missed it, here's what went down. Peter Dutton was sneaking around trying to gain support of the party as leader. Malcolm got wind of this and declared the party seats that they were all up for grabs. This caused a vote for a new leader and Dutton lost. Malcolm won. Dutton zero. But did this stop Dutton? No. Malcolm tried again to stop him by demanding a petition with 43 party signatures before he called a party meeting. The petition came, Julia Bishop and Scott Morrison versus Dutton. Who will win? Dutton, Bishop. No, Morrison comes back and he shoots and he scores. Malcolm resigns, Scott's Prime Minister and Australia's over it. And Dutton is back where he came from. So after what felt more like an episode of Game of Thrones, we're left asking, who is Scott Morrison? What are his policies and his part in the Liberal Party? Well, many say that his politics are primarily conservative. Since becoming Prime Minister, he's cut many major policies, including the National Energy Guarantee. In the past, he's been in support of stopping the boats, abstained in voting on same-sex marriage, voted against a carbon tax and Indigenous land rights. As treasurer, he implemented a levy on the major banks and pledged $1.6 billion to the aged care sector. But what does this mean to us uni students? Earlier this year, as treasurer, Scott Morrison put in place a university funding freeze, which saw UON's funding in particular decline by $33 million. He's also appointed Dan Tayen as Minister for Education. While Tayen has yet to outline his agenda, he's been a spokesperson for rural access to higher education. As crazy and frankly annoying as politics can be, it's really important to at least know the basics around how our country is run and to be more informed when it comes time to vote. Because at the end of the day, the people we elect decide how our country is run. That's all for this episode. Make sure you leave all of your comments below and we'll catch you in the next episode. And just remember, there's a fair go for those who have a go.